after four reporters defend swamp rats, watch Sarah kick them to the curb by US4Trump.com. It was just another day at the office for Sarah. She arrives rocking her fantastic fuchsia outfit and wearing a simple set of pearls. Absolutely beautiful. The best part, however, is when Sarah handles four reporters with grace and class and professionalism. She was perfectly awesome. Today, during the press briefing, the Newsmax reporter, John Gizzi, starts it all off by asking about Brennan's security clearance that Rand Paul once revoked. And in a stunning announcement, Sarah informs America that Brennan's security clearance is at risk of being revoked. But wait, there's more. So are the clearances of Comey, Clapper, Hayden, Rice, and McCabe, Sarah announces. Sarah patiently explains the president is exploring the mechanisms to remove security clearances because they've politicized. Sarah continues and in some cases monetized their public service and security clearances. The press room uh, was a buzz as reporters began to spin their stories out loud and they are really funny. Four reporters in a row try to spin the story uh, then report what Sarah said. However, there was none more hilarious than the second reporter who simply could not understand what politicized and monetized meant. And Sarah calls him out on uh, his rookie move. No, I think you are creating your own story there. Uh, then she repeats herself patiently for them over and over again. Uh, let's take a quick uh, look. Brennan and his security clearance. Are you considering any additional actions against Brennan and the other names you you uh, uh, read off um, in addition to revoking their security clearance? Is there any other action under review? Not that just for that. Yeah. 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 The president is threatening to punish Brennan and Comey and Clapper for saying things about him that he doesn't like. Uh, is that presidential? The, the president is exploring these mechanisms to resist. Uh, remove security clearance because they politicize and in some cases actually monetize their public service and their security clearances and making baseless accusations of improper contact with Russia or being influenced by Russia against the president is extremely inappropriate. The president contends that the fact that people with security clearances are making these baseless charges provides inappropriate legitimacy to accusations with zero evidence. So when we have further updates on that front, I'll certainly let you know. Free speech he doesn't like and he wants to punish them for it. Uh, no, I think you are uh, creating your own story there. The president doesn't like the fact that people are politicizing uh, agencies and um, departments that are specifically meant to not be political and not meant to be monetized off of security clearance. Yeah. 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 Several questions after to follow up on that. Isn't the president doing exactly what you just said the president doesn't want all these people doing? Politicizing matters of national security by going after his political enemies? No, the president's not making baseless accusations of improper contact with a foreign government uh, and accusing the president of the United States of treasonous act activity when you have the highest level of security clearance, when you're the person that holds the nation's deepest, uh, most sacred secrets at your hands and you go out and you make false accusations against the president of the United States. He thinks that is a uh, something to be very concerned with, and we're exploring uh, what those options are and what that looks like. Yeah. Hey, um, Sarah, I was actually on the, the message to. Sorry, I got to keep moving. Just we're running out of time. Question. Caitlin, go ahead. Message. To sorry, Paul Sorry, I got about one. two more questions left. Caitlin, go ahead. The president's message to Paul Manafort. Does he have one? Right, not that I'm aware. Okay, let go ahead. When is the president going to make this decision on those security clearances? I said when we have an update, we will let you know. Okay, okay. so, so my. Well, uh, did you see what she said that uh, Brennan accused Trump of a treason, right? So, yeah, when you have somebody accusing you of treason, the president now uh, accusing him of treason, of course you're supposed to take security uh, clearances away. These people are dangerous. They shouldn't have security clearances when they're out there bashing President Trump like that. And uh, this guy, uh, this other, re the guy reporter, oh, so in other words, he takes away a security clearance from people he doesn't like. 
Well, that's the president's prerogative. Get it through your head. He is the president of the United States, and he has every authority to do as he so chooses. And how about that? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And again, thank you so much for watching.